Hospital Porter's Pride and Dignity Stops the New World Order. Welcome to Panwo TV. I am Ben Emily Jones and I am on location at the Alternative View 2 conference at Heathrow Airport in London, England. Um, an airport's a good place to hold a conference really because uh, it's good for the international delegates. You know, if a lot of um, international people are coming. Yeah. It's Saturday morning. The conference began yesterday evening and I'm having a wonderful time. Um, I'd just like to introduce Introduce you to my hotel bathroom here. You know, it's um, very smart here. Um, this is called the Thistle Hotel. It is, um, it's, it's in the airport. Um, it's quite nice here. Um, the actual conference is held in an auditorium here at the, at the conference centre, which is attached to the hotel, and it's very, very posh indeed. We have velvet seats to sit on. There's chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. There's TV screens up on the on stage, sophisticated lighting, um, it's really, really grand, and I'm loving it, I think it's really great, um, I'm having a wonderful, wonderful time, and so is Bardo Bardo, who's, who's here with me, she loves it, and there's other delegates and, that like it, and some of them I recognised, um, there's mostly new faces I haven't seen before, but um, some of them I, I recognise, and they seem to be enjoying it too. There's a, area, there's a place with uh, stalls. You can buy things. You can buy organized lumps and books and DVDs. And Marcus Allen is here with his Nexus stall as usual. And he comes to all of these events. Um, and um, there's a bar, which is most important of all, I think. You know. um, well, basically, the conference open. It's been filmed. I think Edge Media TV are doing films of this because um, the conference was introduced by Frankie Ma, who's. Um, Edge Media's, um, Edge Media's uh, favorite presenter, and um, he ended a speech too. And then Len Horowitz came on, and he talked for two hours about all sorts of things. It was utterly fascinating, deeply disturbing, but ultimately uplifting. And uh, I think that's a perfect combination because we've got to be honest about what's going on in this world. It's not, it's not good news, and we have to be honest. We have to be straight with people and tell them what's really going on because. You know, they, this is not a noble myth to say everything's okay, we're a democracy, we're free. It's not a noble myth, as Plato would call it. It is a fallacy, it is a dangerous delusion. And if people think that, then they're in deep shit. Because then the, the Illuminati are going to get away with what they get away with. Um, and again, you, you want to give people hope, because we can get out of this mess, it's our choice. There are six billion of us and 13 of them. If it comes to a fight, who's going to win? So that's also what we've got to bear in mind. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Don't become despondent and think there's nothing we can do and we're doomed. Because we're not. And that was Len Horowitz's message, really. He talked about bioterrorism, about the, you know, the way that um, the medical and um, bio-warfare establishment have really become the same thing, especially in the United States, but here in Britain, too. And um, that... He speaks about the origins of the Great Plague, you know, that how, uh, and this is topical because we've got swine flu coming out at the moment, you know. <coughs> I've got swine flu. Yes, um, I thought I had it the other day, actually, because I've got a bit crackling in my ear. Uh, um, yeah, that was, that's very, very important for everyone to understand, right? Don't get the vaccine if you, if you get offered it. Don't, because it's dangerous. Um, after the after that, Len talked about he went on to other things. He went to talk about about um, spiritual natures of reality, and they had the spiritual message of um, m music and sound resonance, the 528 hertz frequency. Um, he'll be talking more about that because he's doing another speech today. Um, and I'll let you know what that's like. After after that ended. I, uh, I was a bit tired because I've been scribbling away because I'm going to do a report for Hapanwell on this and you'll be able to read that on the Hapanwell blog. Um, then I went to see a cabaret act and it was um, fucking news. I don't know if you've ever seen them online. It's fknewz.com and it's really a really, really funny and hilarious satirical news program um, basically talking about things to do with the New World Order and stuff like that and using humour to, to entertain and enlighten people. So that was absolutely brilliant and I really loved it. I'm laughing my head off and I think she was a great way to get messages like this across. So I'm going to have my breakfast and then start the, new, um, start the new day and I'll let you know what that's like at the end of it. Hospital Ports Pride and Dignity, stop the New World Order.
Have a nice day. Hopefully I will.